to Havram Tutorials and um, today for this particular video we will be discussing filtering with pivot tables and in our series this is going to be video number four in our video number one we discussed the advantages of using tables number two video was a video that we combine an introduction to pivot tables and their uses and then summarizing with pivot tables and then we had sorting with pivot tables and then um three this is actually this is supposed to be two okay so we had let me just make this also video number two all right so this is actually video number two so we did three Today is going to be our video number four, filtering with pivot tables. All right, so um, let's go to this sheet over here, which is to filter. As usual, we are simulating a situation and also with questions. You will really understand the inputs and the, uh, the cool features of a uh, filtering when you visualize your data and so the questions we have here focuses i mean they focus on visualizing uh, the data so the first question is visualize individual staff states and corresponding orders so this question is actually asking get the staff let's see the states that they have picked orders from and then what are their respective orders per state so we are going to use filtering option in pivot table and do that then question number two we'll be looking at how to visualize individual staff count of states and that is how many states for each individual okay so answering these two this is what we should arrive at our responses will be in this fashion and then this is a powerful tool it's a slicer which we have used you can see tehila havron is one of the staff who submitted order here all right so when you click this if we do our work very well we should be able to see how this connects with the two questions. Tehila Sharon, uh, Tehila Havron has these orders per state. He has a total of uh, 1.3 in Enugu, 158,000 in FCT, and then uh, 126 in Kanu, Lagos, 742 and a total of 2.3 million dollars oh, this is dollars this is not what i want so let's use this to refresh our our what we learned previously this is dollars but i want it in naira so i'm going to right click inside that and i'm going to click my format number format it brings this out so I'm interested in currency, it's already selected, and my zero decimal places. However, I need Naira, so I scroll through these, and I here, I see one. So this is Naira, I'm okay with it. And then everything changes to Naira the way I want it. Good. Now, you will notice that the moment I click Tehila Havron, what comes out here is Tehila Havron. What comes out here? This is question number two. Individual staff number of orders per state. What comes out here is still the same name. So what I am looking at a glance on my dashboard is Tehila Sharon got 45 orders from Enugu. 
which amounts to 1.3 million. The same staff got five orders for FCT amounting to 158,000. Now, for each of these states, we have the number of orders this staff collected for each of the states, and we also seen the corresponding values of the orders. So if I have to use this, this is my filter tool, it's a slicer. If I click here, Sharon Havron, you will see that here is Sharon Havron. It's also displaying its corresponding values of orders per state and also corresponding values or numbers of order per state. You will notice that the previous one, the states were different, the order of the states were different. Let's see Tehila. Tehila covered Enugu, FCT, Kanu, and Lagos states. And these were their resp respective orders. Sharon Havron is Penue, Enugu, FCT, Kanu. There's no Lagos here. I said the same order, these values, these are the corresponding states that gave those orders. The same thing that happens with something, these are their resp the respective states that they got this order. And at the same time, I have this running. If I had chosen this kind of chart, you see that for each one is displaying. Okay, you see this value? You see it here? This is Enugu. It has over 2 point something here, but 2.6, slightly above 2.5, that's 2.6, you can see it here. And this is the count. It's a slightly above 80 for Enugu, look at this here, 85. So this is a very cool way of connecting these two reports. It might be 50 reports in one um, dashboard. You know the way your car dashboard is? You have the fuel gauge, you have your speedometer, you have several things that you can see at a glance. That is what a dashboard does when we visualize our data. Okay, so we are going to set about getting this done. All right, so let's go back to our main sheet. So I'm going to click right into inside this table and I'm going to use my short cut and that is alt n v we discussed that previously and like i keep saying if you are new in the use of um pivot table always choose the default which is new worksheet however because i know what i'm doing and i know how to guard against those problems so i'm going to choose here i'm going to choose same worksheet so i'm going to click here i'm going to okay so i have this all right so um i don't really need this here so i can really push it to the far left good now the question number one says staff states and corresponding orders staff i bring my staff here these are my staff and then the other thing is corresponding orders so I have my state here in my column area. This is how it is distributed. Now I want to get the values of the orders. So I bring my order here down to the value. It gives me the respective values and the total values. Okay, so I am going now to convert this. Let me format this to reflect Naira. So I'm right clicking inside. I'm clicking my number format. I'm clicking my currency. I'm clicking here, the symbol, to get to my Naira. Like I said, I think Microsoft loves Nigeria so much. We have one, two, about five or thereabouts. I'm an Igbo, so I click Igbo. So here, I want it to be set at zero, decimal point. So I OK it. You see, everything, because the order is what we have just formatted. If you had gone straight here to do the to do the formatting that's coming here and saying you want to do your number formatting here and come here, you will only would have applied it to one section and not all. Okay, so that's the advantage of working right 
from the pivot table options. Okay, so we have answered this. Visualize individual staff states. So this is individual staff. This is the respective state corresponding orders. Great. So I can come here now and decide to deselect all. I select two. These two appear. I can decide here to select if I want to select Havila and Samson, their values will display. Okay. So this is number one. Then number two question. Okay, so I think we will better do this. Um, since it's individual, let's um, see what we're going to do. Let's be selecting the one after the other so that we will use this eight okay to reflect uh to show what i mean the graph so we are going to choose there well okay let's go for the recommended this is what it has recommended for me i'm not i'm not doubting it so i'm going to use this okay so if i come here and select jedidaya rather than this one it gives me the corresponding so it's telling me that jedidaya have run has this order which is above 500 here. you can see the grid lines here above 500 and it's for enugu just here okay so if i decide to choose another person something something will be this the reason why we are not doing multiple for now is because we want to use this eight to show all at the individual um individual staff all right so having done this I am now going to get another one. So this is for question number two. I'm going to do, I'm going to insert another pivot table and that is Alt N V. So I still want it here. So I can come here and click here. I okay it. All right, so let me shift this to the far left. Great. So the question is visualize individual staff. Here again, we are interested in the staff. So I bring my staff here. And it's saying count of states. So that means I want to see Enugu here. How many did this person bring for Enugu? If it does. All right. So I am going to bring my state in the columns. Okay. I'm bringing them the columns. So, so these are my columns. You can see column this, column this, column this. Meanwhile, this my staff are in rows. Row this, row this, row this, row this, row this. Okay. But now I need to know the count. How many for Enugu did Havila bring? How many for FCT? How many for Kanu? How many for Lagos for this person? And so on and so forth for the rest of the staff. All I need to do is to carry my state here bring it to the value fields here and by default because it's a text field it's going to give me count all right so this is the um star uh, the question number two giving us the count i can come here again and decide to click here this is um this is havila Shar uh, havila haron and this is samson they are not speaking to one another but we want it to be speaking to one another. That's what your dashboard does. You, we need to connect these two. So before we do that, I'm also going to insert a recommended chart for this. Let's go ahead with this. We are not really playing uh, big games now to make, uh, to uh, really beautify what we are doing for now, okay? Now it's just for us to get hold of the pivot table, see how we can do connections, see how we can do powerful filtering. All right, so um, this is what we have. Good. Now, there is a powerful feature which we introduced in one of our earlier videos, and we said it's called Slicer. So I'm going to click inside any of this. Now, before going to that, let me tell you that if I click in this, the first pivot table, it has a name. This is pivot three, pivot table three. 
when I click in the second one, it's pivot table four. So the, the more you, you create pivot tables, the more it gives given numbers. And you can actually rename this. All right. So now, having clicked in any of these, and under my an analyze option, I'm going to click insert slicer. So this is the filter tool that is available in Excel tables and pivot tables. So because the two questions talks about the two questions are making reference to staff. So let's just get the staff. The staff. That's all we need for this particular question. So we okay it. Now you would notice that this is what has come up. Now because this was the place that um Okay, I think it was here. Let me see which one that was. Uh, Jedidiah. Okay, so this was connected to this. Because this was where we clicked before we went to do that. Alright, so this is what is filtering for this. If I click share Tehila, Tehila Avila is Tehila Avila. It's not affecting this. So it's affecting this chart. So all I can do again is to come here, click this one. And then analyze under my pivot table option. Click insert slicer. Still go ahead to click staff. Okay it. Now I have this one for this. Okay, so I'm going to do something. Let me click. Let me keep this one here. Let me keep this one here. I'm going to use this opportunity to speak to something that we need to be talking later in our data visualization class now uh, let me start from here I have this option to design so let's give them unique uh, features let's say um, um, let's say we are interested in um, I want a very beautiful uh, where did this one come from let me see what is that okay i want a beautiful one okay so let's choose this one you see this color i want it to match with this so i can come here here is giving me the design option because it's under pivot table now this is my slicer i also have that option so when i click here i'm going to see design so i want it to look like this also is it this one is it this one? Uh, look at what it we have here. But uh, we want to look for something that looks okay. So this may be like this because this is speaking to this. So if I speak to Sharon, Sharon changes. Okay. Then this one is blue. So um, let me see. I need to change this also to reflect this. So I come to my option because I've selected this. Let's see blue, blue, blue. This is it the same thing with this? Let's see. Or uh, this, uh, this okay. So, I guess this is this. So, right now, you see that we have two different uh, slicers. This one is controlling this count. You can see Havila Havron, Havila Havron is also speaking to this chart, all right? So, and uh, this one is speaking to this and also speaking to this. However, when we have a dashboard, we need to connect these two reports together. So how do we do that? So let me delete this. Okay, so I'm going to be using this. All right, so when I click this, this is my connector. It's going to uh, be filtering this and this together. I want you to note is that once we connect it, what the name that is appearing here will also appear here and they will be speaking to since this one is speaking to this and this is speaking to this, they will be changing. So I'm going to click here. This is my slicer and I'm going to uh, my options. I'm coming almost to the left here, report connections. So I click this, this comes up. Because this one is connected to pivot 3, I'm going to also connect it to pivot 4. Remember, I told us that this is 3 like now sorry let me go off, off here i click here this is my pivot when i go to analyze is pivot three 
this one is pivot four right now so we need to connect pivot three and pivot four to this slicer so selecting my slicer i come to option i go to the almost far left here to connect reports all right so it's already on three so i'm going to hit pivot four and connect it the moment i do this connection tehila havron is selected this is tehila havron this is tehila havron so those two are speaking to each other so when i click sharon havron sharon havron is connected here it's giving me the values here and sharon havila also is here all right so all we need to do is to arrange our dashboard all right so we can do this and uh, sometimes when you are working on a spreadsheet like this where you have inserted your pivot table you may not want to be seen uh, let me for instance i've clicked inside this pivot table and i don't want this sometimes it occupies your space and not really that you are using it so what you need to do is to deactivate that so you come to your analyze this is under the show you can show the feed list you can show the plus or minus buttons you can hide the field headers right now what we are interested in removing is this list so i click this and check it it goes off so i can now walk around here to make my uh, dashboard look fine here i can drop this here okay so this is a very wonderful thing in later vi uh, video we'll be discussing how we can make your chat clean you know like all these things i don't usually like them i don't like this i want those labels the data labels to be on each series okay so i hope you enjoyed this um session of the video i hope you do and then uh, we are going to be doing the other ones the other videos which is to reorganize although even part of what we we'll do we'll be doing is part of reorganizing but we'll still see how we can do that with the grouping counting occurrences we have done this you know just like what we did down totaling with pivot table we have done this almost okay so we may not um say we, okay we are going to get another um scenarios to really give us a good uh, run on these videos all right so this is where we end this video i hope that you really enjoyed it thank you